Hey everybody on YouTube, it's been a while since I've done an update. Um, been really busy with a lot of things. You know how the saying, you know, when it rains it pours. Well, it's been a rain and pouring on me type of situation. Uh, my AC has, has started to go on the fritz. And of course, we're in the very peak hottest part of the summer here. We're, our heat index is, you know, in the 100 to 105 range. So things are really, really, uh, you know, it's really hot out there. And, and just miserable because the, the humidity is 70, 80 percent on top of that. So it's just, it's been really hot out. <clears throat> I had to get a new AC unit, or I'm, I, I purchased a new AC unit. I've had, uh, the one I've got is on the fritz. Uh, the problem is that the new AC unit I managed to get a good deal on is, is longer than my existing unit. So I had to pour a pad, an extension onto my AC unit pad. And it's taken me a week to get all that done just due to the heat and, and just logistics and all that. And that's pretty much eight, eight up a week. And um, I ended up having to buy a new mower. Um, you know, I'm the type of guy that I'll use something until it just won't go any further. And I bought a, a, a mower uh, for $125. I used it for three years. I got my $125 out of it. But the, the drawback is when it gives, you know, gives up, it's, it's over. It's old. It's wore out so I ended up buying me a new mower and you know seeking out a good deal on that but anyway that's all beside the point we're here to talk about the garden and see what's going on we're in the heat of summer oh by the way I've, I mean to show some of the vegetables we've got the cucumbers keep coming those pearl cucumbers oh my goodness I can't give enough away of those things I mean they just keep keep on coming they're good cucumbers uh, I'm, I'm here to tell you if you want something that's productive it doesn't matter the heat or anything. Those pearl cucumbers just keep on coming. And then, you know, tomatoes and peppers. Uh, normally, this entire counter is filled. We've given away probably 50% of all the tomatoes we've grown to neighbors, to friends, to family, to guy, the guy that helped me with my pad out there. To You know, I'm giving away as fast as I can. We've canned tomatoes. So I can't complain. I mean... Considering the heat and all, um, the tomatoes have really done well. And I've got, i got to say, these um, earth boxes, when you're dealing with the kind of heat and, 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 and all these, you know, all the stuff that we deal with, especially down in the south, I can't complain about these earth boxes. I mean, they really do, they keep those tomatoes going, they keep them, mo keep them watered, um, there's no disease to deal with. Uh, you still got the bugs, which that's been my major thing this year is the bugs. But um, they just keep on going, and they've been pumping out those tomatoes. I go out there every three days. We'll pick probably 20 or 30 tomatoes, and it's been like that for the last two to three weeks. Uh, really good tasting tomatoes, really rich and deep. I mean, I cannot complain about these earth boxes. If you watch my earlier videos, you'll see where I, I'm, I'm, I was disappointed because uh, when it was cool and I, and I first put my transplants out, um, it's, they stayed so moist that the tomatoes were just overwatered, it seemed like. But I tell you what, when you start hitting those 90, 100 degree temperatures, it makes up for it. They, I'm really happy with those earth boxes. That's a great way to go. It really is a great way to go. Um, this was my big, one of my big producers right here. Uh, of the, Am the Amazon chocolate, it's finally given up the ghost. It's um, it's just drying out, wilting. Uh, I p picked the last really good tomatoes off of it, but you know it's gotten to the point. The heat and everything else, uh, it's in not in a really big container, and uh, it's just given up the ghost. And that's this is the way tomatoes are. Now this is that uh, Cherokee purple. It's doing very well. It's in that five-gallon bucket. I have to water it two two times a day at least uh, in this kind of heat. It's doing really well. I'm really proud of the little five-gallon bucket system. You know, the, uh, uh, what's it called, the global bucket. Uh, you know, I stuck with their method, and it has done very well. Of course, I planted this, you know, two months after all my other tomatoes, so it's just now really starting to produce, and it's just a matter of them ripening. If this can make it through the heat, this will be a great producer. And I like this plant because it's not a it's it's bushy and thick, 
but it's not a real tall grower so it's you know it's uh, I'm really impressed so far I've had not I've not had good luck with these uh, this variety in the past but you know what it really works great in this global bucket considering you know I've had you know 90s 100 degree temperatures you just got to stay on it and and you know hit it with some miracle grow every now and then and whatnot just to get perk it up and uh, it's done very well I can't wait to um, you know for him to go get going you know really good uh, the earth boxes as you can see um, they're starting to play out they're starting to brown up starting to die out uh, they've been putting out tomatoes left and right um, one thing that I'll say about these earth boxes is that I think it would be better to have just one large tomato plant per box because they mat together they get so big uh, they intertwine uh, the airflow and all that uh, these are a deal if you had one nice big tomato per box but here's the bonus is you've got a lot of room you could actually plant like basil and maybe even a, a pepper plant you know kind of mix it up a little bit have one nice big tomato and 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 of course basil or like a marigold and stuff that'll that'll keep him bugs away so that's what i'm gonna do next year instead of just having just this forest of tomatoes in all these boxes i'm gonna put one tomato per box and then i'm gonna put you know some basil and some other things around that and good companion plants or good plants that that kind of keep the bugs down and I think these will just 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 do wonderfully. Um, I mean, they've done so well um, the way they are. You know, uh, we we're out here every three days. We pick probably 40 tomatoes, 30 to 40 tomatoes uh, every three days or so, three to four days. And they've all been very good, very flavorful. Um, uh, of course with the heat and all you know you got to keep on them I'm, I'm watering the heck out of these I water them three times a day you know I have to give them a gallon in the morning about noon time they'll take another two gallons in the afternoon another two gallons to fill them up you know I make sure they're full before it gets dark they'll drink half a, or, or a gallon roughly by the morning so when I come out in the morning I always end up putting another gallon in and then at noon another two gallons and, and so on so that's a lot of a lot of watering um, if I if uh, next year I'm gonna go with the automatic watering system and I'm, I'm gonna water them off of a um, uh, rain barrels to have that good fresh water and if it don't rain I just keep the rain barrel full but that'll give a chance for the the uh, chemicals to kind of evaporate out um, these two here are about giving up the ghost. Uh, these guys, <laughs> they've put out a lot of tomatoes, nice big juicy tomatoes, but the dad gum squirrels and birds keep tearing into them. Um, so I've had a hard time getting tomatoes off of these guys, but as you can see, they're, they're starting to play out as well. Starting to dry up. Um, and then I've got all kinds of stuff planted in between here. Um, the cucumbers, they just keep on going. Peppers are, are really producing now. Um, we're we're pulling a lot of peppers off lately. Uh, they're finally, you know, have, have really kicked in. Um, we've pulled a lot of peppers. So uh, I'll show some more of that in another video, specifically about the peppers. You know, they've gotten to where they're sprawling out on the ground, into the grass, into the yard. Uh, the cucumbers, that is, and the peppers themselves. I've been having time up more. I lost a whole half of a plant. Uh, they, these have really done well. That's one thing that uh, you can count on when it's hot is peppers. Uh, the basil, obviously, I need to go in and start trimming it back. It's already, you know, they're flowering and, and we keep trimming them. And uh, uh, like I mentioned in my last video, we've got more basil than we can ever think about. Um, Let's go take a walk and look at the volunteer plant that I showed um, in my, I think in my last video. Um, this one I keep, I don't even think about it, I just let it grow. And it is just, <laughs> look at this thing, it's just going crazy. Um, it's going to be a cherry tomato, 
it's got tons of tomatoes on it and uh, before long they'll all start ripening I hope it's a, at least a tasty kind of tomato you know but being a volunteer you know it's there's no telling um, and it's doing well it's doing so well as you can see it just really puts out the clusters but uh, you know hey what the heck you know it'll um, if it can make it through the heat which I think it will just fine start when things start cooling down this will really take off um, I did plant let me go back over here you know I had that awful tasting um, sun gold I don't know if something was wrong with the seed or whatever it was but I stuck a sucker I pulled it out and I stuck a sucker in its place and he's doing good in fact he's got some little tomatoes on him and that was just from a sucker you know so I think that guy will start taking off once he if we can get through the heat he's kind of shaded from this plant here and uh, so we'll still have tomatoes peppers are doing good everything's looking good can't complain but you know some of these plants are starting to give up the ghost here they, they just can't handle this you know, 105 heat index um, but they're still putting them out they're putting them out left and right um, and like I said we'll pull like I said several you know two or three dozen off every every three or four days but anyway that's a, a quick update it's hotter than heck out here um, it's about a hundred degree uh, right now it's already about a hundred degree heat index and it's only noon uh, we've got a little bit of a breeze today which is a little bit of a break but you know I've been really busy just having to take care of a lot of stuff like like everybody does and and trying to keep up with the garden and, and work and um, I can't complain it's been a good year we've had a lot of you know uh, you know if everything just died right now I'd be happy this year because I've, it's been that would be we've had a good year so can't complain uh, but anyway thanks for watching I'm, I try to keep my videos small but you know I don't do so many so I guess they're a little bit longer now um, but thanks for watching I have a few more taste test videos of some other varieties I just haven't done yet and I um, uh, hope you all like those. I don't get a lot of comments on them, but I'm going to go ahead and do them anyway, at least just for my own sake to look back on. And uh, thanks for watching. Talk to you all later. Bye.